and welcome back. We are doing our care update brought to you by Powerfleet. I'm here with the one, the only Thomas Watson. Thomas, what are you getting into now? We have more on the wall here. Fun times, fun information. The name of the game today is Volumes. Outbound tender volumes that are in the bottom in blue here continue to decline. Let me see, they're going further down, folks. We're down to 12,648 on the index. Compared to the beginning of March, we're at 15,000. That's the equivalent of the Dow definitely tanking. Well, the freight market is tanking right now as well. And unfortunately, it's everyone's fault. Go out and buy more so we can fix this inventory glut. And so looking at that, outbound tender rejections are also falling in line with that. We are automatically down to around 11.94%. This does not bode well for those who are using the spot market. Uh, definitely a situation where, you know, seeing these declining volumes is one thing with contracted rates, but what happens is the outsized effect is the spot market is uh, struggle busing, to say the least. Yeah, I mean, Thomas, when we're looking at what's going on with these volumes, they just keep coming down, down, and down. I mean, we're looking at like, you know, moving forward, we were chatting a little bit about with uh, with Mary, this upcoming produce season that, that's going to be really in a few weeks here. When we're looking at that, how much of an impact can that really have in really slowing down some of this decline? Uh, I think, honestly, especially with produce season agriculture, it's in disparate parts of the country. It's, you know, retail is king. 70% of our stuff is GDP related, depending upon who you ask in your time of day. So, you know, consumers buying things. I don't think produce can step it up, maybe for refrigerated and other guys whenever you come to harvest, but there's just not enough volume to kind of pick up the slack nationwide. If we're kicking it to our next chart as well, um, you know, this is our haul index. So when we're looking at this, we're thinking of, okay, where's the hot markets? Where's the cold markets? Blue means there's some hope. Red means there is nope. And so what we have right here is if you're trying to plan your trucks, try to, pin, try to continue to go from a market that is showing oversupply of loads compared to capacity compared to an under one. So unfortunately, Florida is getting really nice this time of year, except for if you're trying to find a backhaul. So, Expect carriers to focus around it. You know, we're seeing, when you talk about the produce and stuff, we're looking at the uh, Memphis market as well as the market above it, I think near Cape Girardeau. You know, these are traditionally the places that will start heating up a little bit as we, we do our uh, tractors, our lawn mowers, our other items getting shipped out. And so this is gonna be a challenging operating environment. Going to our next slide, speaking of challenges, the diesel truck stop prices are still going. Well, they've plateaued. I wish I had better news, but unfortunately, uh, we are still in a situation where if we look at the actual price per pump at the gallon, it's 505. DOE has not caught up yet, but this is definitely having problems not only for trucking companies, but for small businesses as well as construction. Those are diesel trucks, a lot of them are. And, you know, paying $5 versus two fifty three three a year ago, it's not a fun time. Yeah, I mean, Thomas, we see that this upward movement has stopped, but as you said, it's plateaued at such a high level definitely still going to eat into a lot of different businesses and add to some of that overhead there. It's gonna add tons of overhead. We're seeing margins get constrained. So kicking it to our next slide, talking about constrained margins, unfortunately, our truck stop rate is going further down. We're now down to 329 uh, for all in rate per mile. This is a truckstop.com seven day average. And then on the other one, we have the number of entrants. So we're waiting on the next round of data. Normally we have like economic data. It's a little bit behind, but record number of entrants flooding into the market causes downward declines. A lot of these guys who are starting these trucking companies do not have either a robust customer base and they're normally starting strictly on the spot market. And so, you know, that's the first thing that we're seeing. We'll see if even if we see these volumes go down and it becomes a uh, it continues to go below three dollars it'll take some time but this is definitely an ominous sign because what that tells the customers is that when we see these spot markets rates go down they're starting to think it's getting close to that 293 ish contracted rate they recently negotiated and uh, just like the wheel of time so to speak uh, the wheel of trying to renegotiate your prices lower they're going to start floating maybe we should do our next mini bid and try to get a little cheaper on that contracted rate so that's where we see this cascading effect where spots kind of the canary in the coal mine uh, you know, not only do birds have very poor respiratory systems, but spot markets with new entrants have very poor tolerances when you have a glut of capacity entering the market. So it's extremely, extremely interesting to see. Uh, we expected it to be 
better. It is not at the moment. And so kicking over to my next slide here, um, we have, here's an example of a market that is experiencing a little bit of headwinds. Even though we have a port backlog still that is improving, we have noticed that there is a notable decline between our Los Angeles to Chicago lane via freight waves, freight waves track spot information. And so, you know, even with a confidence score of five, we're in a situation where the Los Angeles market was, even into the new year, extremely hot. And right now, unfortunately, it's getting kind of cold. We're going to kick it back over to Anthony and we should have another segment coming right up next.